Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the repair, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to loosen the screw securing the air filter cover. Pull the cover off along with the air filter and the pre-cleaner if your engine is equipped with one. Now remove the screw to release the control cover. Remove the screw securing the filter base plate. Then detach the breather tube and set the plate aside. Release the clamp securing the fuel line. Pull the fuel line off of the carburetor and plug the end to prevent a gas spill. Next, remove the screw to release the choke lever assembly and move it aside. Remove the mounting bolts that secure the carburetor. Rotate the old carburetor to remove it from the throttle control lever and pull the old O-ring from the engine intake tube. You're now ready to install the new carburetor. Insert the new O-ring onto the intake tube. Position the new carburetor onto the throttle control lever and mount it to the engine. Secure it with the bolts. Reposition the choke lever assembly and secure it with the screw. Reattach the fuel line and secure it with the clamp. Replace the gasket in the filter base plate with the new provided gasket. Then reinsert the breather tube and secure the plate with the screws. Replace the control cover and secure it with the screw. Use a rag to clean off the filter cover if necessary. Then reinsert the pre-cleaner into the cover with the arrows pointing upward if applicable. Position the air filter on top with the paper element facing the pre-cleaner. Insert the cover's tabs into the slots, rotate upward, and tighten the screw. With the repair complete, reattach the spark plug wire and boot.